All right, so this was your actual quiz, and I'm going to work out the uh, solution key for it. I know I passed it back. It was out of 12 points, and basically I assigned two points for A, B, C, D, and then A and B here. So the displacement between 0 and 12 seconds, I apologize. That should be a 2 right there. And let's go ahead and get this displacement. So for A, we end up at 0, having started from 7. So that's negative 7 meters. The distance traveled between 0 and 12 seconds. So we travel 4 here. You know, I'm going to do this in a little bit of a different color. So we travel 4 seconds. 4 meters here, not at all here. 2 meters here, 0. And then we go from 5 to 0 here. So we cover another 5 meters there. So we actually end up covering 4 plus 2 plus 5. A total of 11 meters. One thing I kind of noticed was people didn't necessarily fill in this, but it was clear from the work that you'd done that you knew what you were doing. So I was okay with people just simply writing 11 meters. Now at 4 seconds, we read the graph, and we're at 3 meters. And the displacement from 3 to 8 seconds. So at 8 seconds, we're here. At 3 seconds, we're here. So this is 5. This is 3. So not a lot to do. Basically, it's x final minus x initial, which is 5 minus 3. And we end up moving forward 2 meters. Now down here, it says that uh, we have a car that um, accelerates until it reaches a speed of 40 meters per second. Then it travels at constant velocity for 10 seconds after that. We don't know how far it goes and how much time it travels far for. So um, I'll draw a little picture here. Here's our train. I'm going to make this like, I don't know why. I'm going to do this like it's a kid's book. It's like a choo-choo train. Um, I don't know why this makes me laugh. I'm picturing um, BART, but like some kind of Hogwarts Express underneath it. Um, and the juxtaposition of that is... I'm laughing on the inside right now. Okay, so for this first part, we're accelerating, and then we're going to continue, then we're going to continue at a steady rate. Okay, so for the first part of this, which I'll number one, we're going at we're going at a rate from zero to a faster speed, so we are clearly accelerating. And then in the second part, we're going to continue at steady velocity or constant velocity. So with that in mind, uh, let's do the first part to get again. We want to know the total it goes and the total time it travels for. I'm like, I need to split this into two pieces and solve all of this first, and only then can I put it together at the end to do parts A and B. So x, v, v naught, x naught, a, t. Let's just write down the values that we have. Well, we'll start at zero meters. Our acceleration is four meters per second squared. We have no idea how much time that takes. We know our starting speed is zero. We don't know how long it's going to go for. But we do know it reaches a speed of 40 meters per second. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, first, I'd like to get a time. So v equals a t plus v naught. Um, that's the easiest way to get time. So 40 equals 4 times my unknown t plus 0. So t is, in fact, 10 seconds for the first part of this trip. In fact, I'll even write that here. And next, we can get the we can get how far it travels over that 10 seconds of time. So x is 1 half at squared plus v naught t plus x naught. We're going to be really careful with our labels. So we don't know how far it goes yet. That's what we're solving for. The acceleration is 4. The time is 10 seconds that it's traveling for. And the rest of this is 0. Okay. I'm not going to write 0 times t here anymore. Um, you know, I have an expectation of the algebra that you understand. So. In fact, you're going to notice that I stopped writing this stuff all together when I don't need it. So x is going to be 2 times 100, which is 200 meters. Totally fine. So for the first part I cover, in 10 seconds, I go a total 200 meters. Now how far do we go after that? So for the second part, we're traveling at steady velocity. And I'm going to use my steady velocity formula. x is v naught t plus x naught. And that's going to be... 40 times 10 plus x naught, which is this 200 here. So I cover a total of 600 meters. So that, in fact, is the answer to part A. Part B, 
we travel 10 seconds plus another 10 seconds at the end, or a total of 20 seconds. Right there, this is the answer to part B. So that's it for the real quiz, and I'm going to go ahead and post this online right now.